Hello, this is for the uh, Skittles Speciation Lab, and I wanted to kind of show you what this was going to look like um, and answer some questions that I know are going to be coming. So let's take a look at this. Uh, so you're going to use your book for this and for this, and then I believe I gave some insight into where to find this. I think I gave a website for that. Um, so a species of beetles in variety of colors. Um, the beetles are living together on a small island, and we're going to observe what we're going to we're going to put some environmental pressures on these beetles and see what happens. So, for the first round, it says cut out the letters on the last page, and so let's go to the last page. Let's see. Hopefully you can see this. That's page two. That's speciation round two. And then here's the last page. So what you're going to do, um, and you may not have the ability to um, to print, so you're going to cut these letters out. So you have uh, Y for yellow, O for orange, R for red, P for purple, G for green. And you're going to cut each one of these little guys out. So you have all of these little circles or squares. I really don't care what shape they are, but you're just going to need a whole bunch of them. If you have the ability to print and then cut these, that would be your best bet. Okay, so let's say you've done that. Let's go back up to the top and see what we're supposed to do. So we've done it, and then it says, how many total beetles do you have? So this is total, and you'll count that out. And then it says, record how many beetles you have of each color under initial population. So you might have 12 yellow and 13 red and 11 green and 10 orange and 14 and so you're going to add all of those up to get your total. And these are not real numbers, so don't use them. Um, to get your total here, whatever your sum is. And then you're going to have to find your percent. And here's the formula for percent. So if I want to know what percent of my total is yellow, what I have to do is put my initial population over total population times 100. So let's say that my sum is, let's say, 5, 6. That's 0. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So let's say there's 60 of them. So that's my total. So if I were going to find the percent of yellow, I would do 12 divided by 60 times 100, and that's going to give me the percent of yellow. Okay? And you'll do that for each of these colors, red, green, orange, purple, etc. So let's go down to the next part. Okay, so it says dump all your beetles on the island Oh no, a large storm floods the waters to the island. The water carves out a river that separates the population into two groups. With uh, your pen, randomly draw a line separating your skittles. This line represents the river that the beetles can no longer cross. And you don't have to have the same number on each side. So let's scroll down to the very last page because I've drawn you an island. It's beautiful. If you, again, if you can print this, this is a great island. And you can drop all your little skittle pieces on here. Okay, if you can't print this, just grab a sheet of paper, draw a line in the middle, drop your Skittles papers on it. So this is the river that divides the population per step two. Okay, so let's go back up. And it says, how many beetles are in group one and how many beetles are in group two? So you're going to count. This is group one on this side. This is group two on this side. You're going to count how many you have on both sides and put that there. Record how many beetles you have in each population. Calculate the percent. So I know, let's say that I have 20 here and I have 40 here. And I don't know how I got it. Let's say there's 2, uh, 10, uh, 4, 4, and 0. That's 20. And then over here, let's say I have 10, 5, 10, 5, 5. Yeah, whatever. Let's just say that this is what it is. Um, and you may not use these numbers. So now you have to find the percent. Like in group one, you have to find the percent using this formula. And the formula is, so I have two yellows over 20 yellows times 100. Or two yellows over 20 total times 100 gives me my percent. Okay. Or here, I would have 10 over 40 times 100. Okay, so that's how you're going to find your population and your
um, percent. And then we have some questions. What type of isolation occurred? Keeping in mind that in the first part of this, you listed five types of isolation. So it should be one of those types, okay? How did the population in group one change compared to the initial population? They're asking you, how does group one compare to the total population that you found in your first data table? And then how does group two compare? All right, so then we have speciation round two. On the side of the river where group one lives, there's a lot of grassy area. Which color of beetle will survive in this habitat? Explain. Don't just tell me what color, tell me why, okay? And then in where group two lives, there's a lot of sandy areas. Which color would best survive in this habitat? Explain. So if we go all the way down to our river, so this is the sandy area, group two. This is the grassy area, group one. And you'll answer those questions. Um, as a predator, you spot the beetles easily that, are, that do not camouflage. So in group one, it says throw away three of each color except the green. And in group two, throw away three of each color, if available, except the yellow. So what do you have left? <clears throat> and you're going to write what you have left in group one and what you have left in group two. And then you're going to do your percentages again. You know, I don't know. You may have uh, two and nothing and one and three, whatever. And you have your total, which is six, whatever. Um, but to find your percent, again, it's going to be two divided by six times 100. And that's your percent of yellow. And then there's another question. It says, what type of isolation occurred? Number 10. If you go back up, you have five different types of isolation and number three that you can choose from to answer number 10. Um, how did the population change in group one compared to the initial population? So you're going to compare this to the very first population. How did group two compare to the initial population? And then suppose in 100 years, the group one came back in contact with group two. So all of a sudden the river went away. Do you think they will be able to reproduce with each other or will they be a separate species? So you're going to answer that question. That's a yes or no question and tell me why. Okay. And that's the end of it. Um, please let me know if you have any questions or any problems. You're welcome to make a office hour appointment with me or send me an email. Thank you so much.